A local business was shut down today after thieves smashed the front door and ransacked the place. All of the cash was taken from inside the butcher and grocer in Grandview Heights. Police took fingerprints at the shop today and were investigating. NBC4's Eric Halperin talked to the owner and shows us how the small business is moving forward. Despite what happened, the owner of the shop is not letting it keep him down. He's still got his sense of humor. On this sign he has on the boarded up door, he's telling people, please don't break in. Last person already took everything. When owner Tony Tanner got to his butcher shop Sunday morning, he was met with this shattered glass from the door all over the place. Well, there was just glass everywhere. I, like, I couldn't believe that that little door produced so much. I'm still picking it up. This rock was also inside. Yeah, so they just uh, took this rock right here, the one on the right, this one. That was the smashing device. He says the break-in likely happened sometime between 3 and 8 in the morning. The cash drawer was taken right off the counter. Inside was money from Friday's and Saturday's sales, Plus, the shop could not open up Sunday. It's a big hit for us being a small business. We don't, you know, we're not a giant. So it's uh, every little bit of cash counts. And when I realized our cash drawer was gone and I was out of town for a day, there was a lot of cash in there that just walked out the front door with, with no sales attached to it. But the butcher is already starting to rebound. A friend of ours let us borrow this one. Now he has another cash drawer so he can reopen. He says because Sunday was such a nice day, he likely missed out on a lot of business. He tells me community members were asking all day how they could help and plan on coming in in full force to get their meats when the shop is open again. And right now, Tanner does not have any cameras here, so he says he's getting them. He also expects the door to be fixed at some point later this week. And as the sign says, they will be open on Monday. Local for you in Grandview Heights, I'm Eric Halpern, NBC4.